Morning, dear audience. I'm Yi Fei Cui, come from School of Sage. My supervisors are Professor Obada Kiyali and Evgeny Morozov. In the next 10 minutes, I will lead you to have a tour of my work, the bond test between geopolymer concrete and steel bars. We will go through four steps, introduction, experiment, results and discussion, and then get our conclusions together. Now, let's start from introduction. In this part, we have two things to figure out. The first one is, what is geopolymer concrete? Geopolymer concrete is a new kind of concrete that uses new banders, geopolymers, to replace the, tradi the traditional bander cement. Unlike the traditional bander cement, which has been criticized, criticized for a long time for, for its high energy consuming and CO2 emission producing procedure, geopolymer concrete do not need heat to producing its bander's geopolymers. It uses ioclin activated uh, material to activate industrial byproducts which rich in aluminum and silicate. So dramatically reduced the CO2 emission and was better, also helped in waste disposal. In my research, I use class F flour ash from the thermal power station to make my geopolymers. Flour ash based geopolymer concrete have been shown to have great strengths and what's better, very good chemical and fire resistance compared to the ordinary one. So it is a very good substitute for traditional concrete, but to use it in our real building, we have to perform, prove that it has good bond with the steel bars. So we come to the second thing. What is bond? Bond is a connection between the concrete and the steel bars that make sure they could work together in our building. So it comes from the adhesion, friction, and mechanical interlock from the interfacial in area of concrete and buildings. No bond, no reinforced concrete, no buildings. So to use our GPC to replace OPC in our building, we have to show it has good bond performance. So in my research, I use bond test to, to test the bond performance of GPC concrete. So bond test is very easy test. Just hold the concrete, pull the bar out. But from this simple test, we have to develop the very complex bond performance, the bond strength and uh, modes of failures from the test. Then let's go, go to our experiment together. Two materials are used in the uh, test, of course, they are concrete and steel bars. Four cans of concrete are casted in lab. Uh, they are geopolymer concrete GPC and fiber reinforced geopolymer concrete uh, FGPC and ordinary Portland cement concrete OPC and fiber reinforced ordinary Portland cement concrete FOPC. So, uh, two of them are made from my new bander, geopolymers, and two of them as control group compared with GPC are made from the traditional bander, Portland cement. And after casting, all the GPC samples were tested at 7 days, but all the OPC samples were tested at 28 days. And the steel bars used uh, here is both uh, 16 millimeters plain and rib bars. For plain bars, we could say the surface of the bar is very smooth. So bond of this bar only comes from the adhesion between this bar and the concrete. But for rib bar, we could say there is small ribs on the bars. So the ribs could bite into the concrete, hold the concrete, and give us better bond than plain bars. Both of them are casted in the concrete. And the length of the bar uh, connected with connected with concrete are controlled at either 120 or 150 millimeters by two of these PVC pipes. The steel bar were casted into the middle of the concrete cylinders, make the sample looks like a very big lollipop. So after casting, all the bars were settled down on the tensile machine, hold the concrete and pull the bars out. The pull-out load were recorded by a tensile machine acquisition system 
and the de uh, development of the displacement recorded by uh, LVDT at the end of the sample. So let's see our result. Firstly, there are two kinds of failure happened in the test. All the plain barring first sample, uh, either JPC or OPC sample failed in pull out. That means the bar will pull out of the concrete slowly. But, sorry. Uh, but for the rib barring first sample, all the bars were filled in the splitting of the concrete. We could say that uh, the ribs spread the pull out force into the concrete matrix, so split the concrete matrix into pieces and then stop the test. The test results show the strength of uh, plain bar reinforced samples. Uh, my new bander concrete dramatically improve, improved the strength with plain bars because adhesion with my new bander and, and steel bars is so strong, so the bond strength doubled than that of the ordinary one. But with rib bars, there is also big improvement here. We could say that with rib bars, the bond strength are higher than the plain bars because of the existing of the ribs. But my new banders also have better bond strength than the uh, traditional banders OPC. And it's an interesting thing to compare the uh, sample with or without fibers. We could say that uh, for rib bars with ribs, uh, the fibers dramatically improved the bond strength of the rib, rib barring first samples. And it also extended the development of displacement of the samples because the fibers improved the tensile strength of the concrete matrix, so stopped the uh, splitting of the matrix, so improved the bond performance. But for the plain bars, we could say that with or without fiber, the bond strength and the pattern of the uh, uh, load develop displacement load, we could say that there is no big difference because the existing of the fiber do not influence the adhesion between the two material, concrete and the steel bars. So there is no big difference here. So after all this, after all this discussion, let's go to our conclusions together. Firstly, we could say that uh, GPC have similar modes of failure as OPC. Both plain bars failed in pull out, and both rib bar, ribbed bars failed in splitting. Uh, and compare GPC with or without fiber, we could say, we could say that fiber improved the bound strength and development of the displacement of uh, rib bar, but with plain bars, there is no big, make big difference and compare the concrete made from the two kinds of banders, we could say that both with rib bar and plain bar geopolymer concrete made from my new bander geopolymer have better bond strength than the traditional OPC. Especially with plain bars, the bond strength doubled than that of OPC. So we could get the conclusion here that with both rib bar and plain bar, my New bander concrete have very good bond, bond performance and very safe, safe to be used in our real building. That's all. Thank you very much. So, thank you very much. Good thank you. Talk. I think I understood I'm not an engineer, but. Great, thank you. <laughs> so, Clearly, you would choose to use rib bars with your new binder, with a geopolymer binder. How much binder can we produce like that? Uh, I mean, is there a lot? Yeah, yeah, because we have a lot of flash from thermal power station. So, so that's the first part. And the curing time, uh -huh. so you, you tested that seven days for your flash binder yeah. and 28 days for your... Yeah. Portland, is the curing time different? What was the, the driver for that difference in time? Because my new bender, another good thing of my new bender, it developed the strength very quick. So we can get more than 95% of strength after only seven days. So it's quick, better, 
environmentally friendly. Yes. <laughs> 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 